Okay, I'm just uh, prepping uh, an installation of 1.12.2 CMS Made Simple for uh, upgrading to the 2.1.4 uh, version. So I'm getting rid of some modules that I know um, generally aren't supported um, as we move forward. There are replacements for them that we'll be using. Luckily, they're just administrator ones. In this case, I've already kind of prepped and um, been getting rid of stuff um, leading up to this. So the Ace Editor no longer. There's an Ace Editor 2 when we get there. Um, so I've already done the um, uninstall. And now just removing. Same with notifications. That's gone. Template externalizer. These are just ones that I tend to use. So um, getting them out of there altogether. Um, so I'm ready to go with this. Um, same as other installations where you want to purge a few things. So you want to clear your cache. and clear the admin log. And then that should be it for this part of the process. Um, next up, I'm going to jump in and just um, back up my files, uh, back up my database so I've got that stuff on hand. In the interest of covering each of the steps, I'm actually going to uh, do this one as well. So um, in this case, uh, you can either use a module like CG Snapshot to uh, do the compression, um, or uh, you can do it through your file manager on your host. It's uh, really up to you. Um, CG Snapshot or Command Line are generally um, more reliable, but um, server configurations can be um, uh, something that you have to contend with as well in doing that. So, um, so I'm going to go in and exclude the ones that aren't part of the system or that I don't need. And generally, those are the ones. So the backups is one that I just use um, for when I am doing upgrades and stuff, uh, place to store stuff and keep them out of the way. Oh, and I see one thing missing. Hold on. There, I wanted to see my HD access. There we go. So I got all my stuff stuff ready. Generally it works out pretty well and then I'm uh, just going to tuck it away. Um, whatever works for you in terms of naming, um, I usually date mine. So that's part is done. We're going to see that show up in here. This one that I just did. And these are two from before that I no longer need. Okay, so the file manager is ready. I am going to want to upload something to it, um, but even before that, I need to do the dump to place in there. And again, this is more for me in case I get uh, uh, need to back up. Generally, I've got my settings so I don't have to do anything fancy. Depending on who you talk to, um, CalGuy will always advise to command line. Um, it's just a matter of convenience and comfort levels more than anything. And I'm going to rename that as well. Great, so that's kind of it for my prep. I can go up one and I'm out of there and out of here and on to my next step. Okay, so for my next step, I love um, using Coda because it just makes life kind of easier for um, those of us that are um, live in a Mac world. And this is where I do turn to um, those things that I do know how to do from the command line. So. And one of the things that I will need is get my path. And I want to do the far one, so we'll pop over here and just get that URL. Copy link address. 
back there and back to this. So I'm within the folder that I'm going to install it. I'm just going to run a wget um, from the command line, which works out pretty good. Um, it's generally the quickest way to get your file transfer. Depends on your server. So that's there. Do right. Just extract it. And then my little step. And that's just getting it ready. So I'm actually ready to go ahead with the process now. Um, my permissions are correct. I'm just taking a quick look over a few things here. Everything looks good. So I'm not going to log out. Done with that. And now we're going to pull up the file. There's a little welcome screen to get us started. So, okay, so this is the fun stuff. It'd take a little bit more in the processing here, so I'm probably gonna be quiet just so I can speed up the video clips. Um, but the steps, I'm just gonna go through. Now it's giving me the okay and the process. Um, let's me know where we're gonna be going through each of the steps. And uh, just a little confirmation. So I'm going to go ahead with the upgrade. Okay, I'm now on to step five, and I've got some files to get rid of because the install's done. Just security measures, you want to do that. Now I've got a little bit of work to do just to clean up um, some of the modules and templates um, to bring in some of the ones that I got rid of. Uh, so I'll go through those steps. Um, next. Okay, I'm going to go through the module updates on this now that we've gotten through. Uh, I've got a few. And generally, I tend to keep um, copies of the XMLs on hand. Just makes it a little bit quicker for me. Okay, I'm going to cover a couple of the common uh, fixes and things just to watch for. Um, of course, this isn't all of them. It's just ones that um, I come across on a regular basis. Uh, if you notice that content doesn't show up, it depends on how you've set up your templates, but there are some changes um, with the versions of Smarty and uh, this, uh, the newer versions of CMS Made Simple, respectively. Um, so we'll take a look at uh, those just really quickly here. I'm going to deactivate the... Um, external stuff and we'll handle this from the design manager because that's part of the challenge as well is getting to learn where everything is and how you get to them. So we can filter from design manager under the templates and take a look at just page templates. 
So in doing that, I'm going to pop into default because that's what's powering this particular page where we're not seeing the content show up. Okay, so the issue with the content not showing up, uh, quite often within my templates up in the head, I am referencing, um, I'm kind of, I set my content block there and then assign it to a var, um, which I then uh, use later in the page because I use it up in the head a little bit for a preceding um, meta description, stuff like that. So the new syntax to make sure that this gets passed down is simply we need to do um, apply a scope of global. So just with that little fix, let it load, click cache, all that fun stuff. And there, that brings in the actual content for that particular page. The other thing that I uh, am watching for just um, it still works to use global content call, uh, but there's a replacement for that now. So as much as possible, I go in and clean that stuff up as well. So instead of global content, it now becomes include file, and then you specify CMS underscore template colon uh, before the name. So it used to be global content name equals. Um, this is basically the replacement now. Um, and I'll do that in a few spots here. Okay, so with a few more of those changes, I'm just going to double check on this page, make sure we're all good. All my other little functions are working, so good to go. One of the ones that took me a little bit to just um, really get a sense of, or to remember, sort out the new place for this, um, was the global content blocks, where they are now. So they are now under Design Manager, Templates, Core Generic. If we pull those up, we're going to see all the ones that, um, that you would have had in place before. So then you can just pop in and make some edits from there. Um, nice touch is that menu manager, previous templates are still brought in and available to you here. Um, so you can see kind of all of the different types um, that are listed there. And many of your module templates will actually show up in here now as well. So um, yeah, and that's pretty much the story with those. And it gives us our new and functioning uh, site under CMS 2.1.4. So a um, little long-winded, I'll piece this all together and uh, hopefully this uh, helps out and gives you a little idea of what to expect and a couple of general ideas of how to chase it down.